As someone who has lived in Metro Atlanta pretty much my whole life, I can honestly say that this really is an amazing city. I grew up in Metro Atlanta, met my wife here, now we're raising our family in Metro Atlanta. So let's jump right into what makes this city so special. Right off the bat, one of the biggest things that surprises so many people when they come to Atlanta is just how many trees we have here and how much nature we have in Atlanta. It's not really something that you would expect from a major metropolitan city, but Atlanta is described as a city in the woods. We really have so many trees here, so many parks and so much green space, not just in the suburbs, but also right there in the middle of the city of Atlanta. There is so much green space and so many trees. It really does surprise a lot of people who come from other parts of the country or even other countries. The amount of trees that we have in Atlanta is very surprising. And it's not just trees, it's really all kinds of lakes and rivers and so much nature all around the city of Atlanta. No matter what part of Metro Atlanta you're living in, it's very likely that you'll have a lot of nature around you. Another thing that goes along with that is just how many hills we have here in Atlanta. It's not really like a flat ground kind of area. Most people who come to Atlanta are really surprised that the ground here is not flat. We have lots of hills. Everywhere in Metro Atlanta is very hilly. So I think that has to do with the fact that we're so close to the mountains. The North Georgia mountains are really just about a couple hours north of the city of Atlanta, which is another amazing thing about living here. Also, the coast of Georgia is about a couple hours east of Atlanta. So we have the mountains super close. We have the ocean very close. And, and that really is something that is very unique to the city of Atlanta. The North Georgia mountains are super quiet, super peaceful. You can get a, a cabin there in Blue Ridge or in LJ. Those are some super popular cities in the North Georgia mountains. And the views from the North Georgia mountains are amazing. Another thing that I love about the city of Atlanta is the people. Before we talk about the people though, really quick, just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who has reached out to me thinking about living in Atlanta, Georgia. If you're considering living in Atlanta, feel free to call or text anytime. I'm more than happy to help. My favorite thing to do in the world is help people get acquainted with my hometown. With that being said, I wanna tell you about what the people are like here in Georgia. And it's really kind of a Southern culture thing that we have here. I think in other parts of the country, maybe in New York or big cities like Miami, LA, the people there are kind of like to themselves. I think in those kind of big cities, you get a lot of people who are to themselves, kind of closed off to other people, it can come across as kind of cold. But for some reason here in Georgia, in the southern parts of the United States, the people here are just very uh, friendly. We just have that kind of Southern hospitality thing going on here. It's very common for people to hold the door for you, say thank you, you're welcome, uh, you know, yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am, to the people who are older than you. That's really a very common thing here in the South. In general, people here are just very friendly. Of course, it's not everybody. I mean, it, it's not like everybody here is super nice, but it just seems to be a more common thing here in the South. I remember when I first came to Atlanta, seeing people in the neighborhood drive by and wave to strangers was kind of like a surprising thing. Like, who is that? Like, do you know that person? You know, it's not that you know them or don't know them. It's just a normal thing that people do here when you're driving by a pedestrian, you just wave to them. It may sound funny, but we seem to do that a lot here in Georgia and in Metro Atlanta. And so that really is one of the best parts about living in Atlanta is just how friendly the people are here. Another thing that I love about living in Atlanta is the cost of living. The average home value here in Atlanta is relatively low compared to the rest of the country. You know, you have cities like New York or LA where the average home value is seven or 800,000. In Metro Atlanta, the average home value is closer to three, 350. And so the cost of living in general here in Atlanta is great. As far as the suburbs of Atlanta, 
really the average home value ranges very widely, and that's because we have so many cities and suburbs surrounding the city of Atlanta. I would say the average home value in the suburbs ranges from as low as 200,000 to as high as six or 700,000. When you look at cities like Alpharetta or Roswell, average home value is gonna be closer to 700,000. If you go a little bit east or west of Alpharetta, the average home value goes down to as low as 500,000. A very big difference and you still get the similar kind of amenities that you would get in Alpharetta. Marietta is an awesome city. They have the downtown area there and then Suwannee as well, great city. They have a downtown area, excellent school districts there in Suwannee and then just north of Suwannee is Duluth, also great school districts there. Historically speaking, the southern part of the United States has just had very low cost of living and that certainly is one of the best parts about living in Atlanta, Georgia. Speaking of the suburbs of Atlanta, that's another really good thing about living here is we have so many cities and so many suburbs, which means that there's such a wide variety uh, of different kinds of amenities. You know, if you want to be close to the airport, you can live in cities like College Park or East Point. If you're wanting to be closer to the mountains, you can live in the suburbs like Marietta or Alpharetta. You know, there's so many different things. If you want to live close to the interstate to be able to have access to all of the parts of Metro Atlanta very easily, cities like Douglasville or on the east side, Decatur, DeKalb County, those parts of Metro Atlanta really have very good access to the interstate and you can get to all the parts of Metro Atlanta very quickly. And so the variety in the suburbs all around Metro Atlanta really is one of the best parts about living here. Things like home values range from 200,000 to seven or 800,000. School districts range from not so good to very good. Um, you know, also racial diversity, there's a very wide range in that. And so you can find all different kinds of living situations because we have so many suburbs and such a wide variety of different living styles. Another awesome thing about living in Atlanta is the weather here. So many people will call me from other parts of the country and say they are trying to get out of the cold. They don't want to deal with the snow anymore. Well, here in Metro Atlanta, we do get snow occasionally, but it's very rare. I'd say during the winter time, it may be one or two days of snow, but it very rarely accumulates. I don't have a snow plow. I don't have a snow shovel. I have no idea what it's like to have to shovel snow off of my driveway. And I'm so thankful for that. When it does get cold here, it really gets maybe in the evening time, it will get as low as 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And then in the daytime, during the coldest part of the year, I'd say the daytime is an average temperature of about 35 to 40 degrees. And so the winters here are super mild, not nearly as bad as other parts of the country. And then the summertime isn't too bad either. I'd say the average temperature in the summertime during the hottest part of the day is around 95 to 100 degrees, but that's really only a couple months out of the year. Overall, the summers are pretty nice here. The fall and the springtime, also a great time of year here in Georgia. Georgia is very well known for the leaves on the trees changing color during the fall time. Uh, cities like Blue Ridge and Ellijay are just packed with people there to see the changing of the colors in the trees during the fall. Absolutely a beautiful time of year in Georgia. And then speaking of weather, we don't really get any kind of very big natural disasters here. We don't have tornadoes in Metro Atlanta. You know, we don't have earthquakes. We don't have wildfires. Obviously, I'm very thankful for that, you know, but it's just something that we don't have too much of here. On occasion, we have you know, weakened hurricanes that have maybe gone through other parts of the country and have made it to Georgia, but usually by the time they make it to Georgia, they're a tropical storm. So overall, we don't really have very bad natural disasters in Metro Atlanta. Another awesome part about living in Atlanta is that most of the suburbs around Atlanta have their own downtown area. Marietta has Marietta Square, Alpharetta has downtown Alpharetta. There are so many suburbs around Atlanta and almost all of them have that kind of city center area. And so many people are looking to live in an area that they can walk to like the shops and restaurants and things like that. And while you can't do that in all the parts of the suburbs, you can do that obviously in the city of Atlanta, and you can do that if you are close to one of the city centers 
of one of the suburbs, again, like downtown Alpharetta or Marietta Square. Those areas are very walkable. You can find great community there. You know, you'd be able to walk to the park, walk to the shops and restaurants there. And so that really is one of the highlights of living in Metro Atlanta. Of course, all of Metro Atlanta is not awesome. We certainly have our downsides here. If you wanna know about the bad parts of living in Atlanta, click on this video. I'll see you there.